Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel and in this video we will be building our own chatbot with Rasa Open Source with the help of two new mechanisms that we haven't discussed in our previous video which are entities and slots. So we will be looking at a business use case and based on that business use case deduce some project requirements that we need to achieve through the help of entities and slots. So let's say one of our clients is a manager of a hypothetical business that specializes in monthly or weekly freshly prepared meal plans known as Good Calo. And their manager wants to have an assistant that can assist him and his team in streamlining their processes. He specifically mentions that the customer service chatbot must primarily inform and showcase the different packages that the business provides and also assists in registering customers to their desired meal plan service. And you can see over here that there are two types of, we of meal plan services that the Good Calo uh, business serves or provides to users either a weekly meal plan of a single meal or two meals or three meals, or a monthly meal plan of a single meal, two meal and three meals with their respective prices. So how can I build a chatbot that does that? As we've touched in our introductory video last time, to let our chatbot understand what the customer or the user wants, we need to teach our chatbot to deduce intents related to customer service and tailored specifically for good Kalu. So let's start there. When we put ourselves in our customer's shoes, the first thing we meet, they may need to know about good Kalu's service or good Kalu's business is the different services that good Kalu provides. Here we can simply teach our conversational assistant to understand new intents that represents different questions that the user may ask. To build the best chatbot that could satisfy Good Calo's manager, let's try and deduce some project requirements out of that very general uh, requirements that our, the manager gave us. We will be working with two project requirements. First, we should showcase and raise the awareness of our users that are conversing with us, the different packages of Good Calo. And the second project requirement is then at a later stage, have our conversational assistant be aware enough to register those users into specific meal plans. And to do so, as we mentioned in the beginning section of our video, we will be needing the help of two RASA mechanisms that we haven't touched on before, and they are entities and slots. So let us start with the first project requirement, which is raising the user's awareness of the different packages that Good Calo provides. When we put ourselves in the manager's point of view, the chatbot must register the user at a later stage for different meal plans. So of course, it would be really great if when we are satisfying the first project requirement on showcasing the different services, also get the users or the customers phone number and full name so that when they eventually would like to register, we can do so with so much more ease. And how can I teach my chatbot to recognize names and phone numbers? To do so, we will need the help of entities and slots. And to better understand why we need these two mechanisms, we need to understand what entities are and what slots are. Entities are pieces of information that your assistant can extract from user inputs. That information can be phone numbers, names, or even emails. And then they can be later used in a specific context when responding back to the, re to the user or running specific actions. Entities should be located in your nlu.yml file. 
But how are entities labeled? Or how can we define entities that we would like to extract? Rasa uses a very simple convention. The word that should be extracted as an entity should be surrounded by square brackets. As observed here as an example, the first example given to the intent, name, and contact is the sentence Ayah Hazan and my phone number is 88456312. We can see that the entity that we would like to extract, Ayah Hazan, is surrounded by square brackets. And the type of entity that is, is directly mentioned right after the name Ayah Hasan, and it's in between parentheses. Similarly, when we look at the phone number, the, the number that, that we would like to teach our chatbot to extract is surrounded by square brackets, and the entity that number represents, which is the contact, is surrounded by parentheses. But how can I give the chatbot the ability to extract these entities? There are a few ways we can teach our chatbot to extract those entities. The first one is through the use of pre-built models. Rasa enables you to use pre-built models to enhance the entity extraction results without requiring you to have loads of labeled data. Spacey is a really powerful NLP library that enables developers to use its pre-built models to enhance the entity extraction for details that are simple, like names and locations. Regex, on the other hand, allows you to define a specific pattern that the entities should follow. This means that Regex is the best approach for extracting entities that follow a specific pattern, such as user IDs or emails or even phone numbers. To use regex, we need to define the regex pattern and include it in our nlu.yml file. And finally, through the use of machine learning, which we will be taking a look at in the next videos. As for slots, slots are just ways to store information over a long period of time. If we would like to perform a certain action, through the information that we have gained in, a, in an early stage of the conversation, we can store that information that we've obtained in an earlier stage of the conversation into slots. And we can think of slots as long-term memories that the assistant has. And the idea is that if we would like to use that information later to perform a certain action or to mention it in a uh, later response, we can configure the chatbot to store that information in slots. And before we start working with different intents and the domain file, as well as the stories and rules, let us take a look at some examples of some conversation scenarios that we will be taking into consideration while designing our chatbot. The first conversation scenario is having a user that greets the chatbot. And in this case, we need to teach the chatbot to recognize the greeting as an intent and respond back with the appropriate response. And in this case, we welcome the user and ask it for, its, for their first name and contact number. Now, when we get a response, we must teach the chatbot to recognize that sentence, I'm Alex and my phone number is that sequence of numbers, we must allow our chatbot to understand or teach it to understand that this is the intent name and contact and we would like to extract the name Alex and their phone number and respond back with thank you Alex and proceed to showcase the different services of Good Kalo or Kalo. The second conversation scenario that may occur is that the user directly asks for a good Kalo services. So here the chatbot must be flexible enough to respond with according to the different user inputs. So this is just to recognize that there are different ways that the user may interact with our chatbot and we should take into account multiple 
conversation scenarios so that our chatbot becomes very flexible when it, it encounters different types of conversation flows. In the next video, we will be taking these project requirements and what we've discussed so far in terms of design into consideration while actually designing the chatbot through code. So stay tuned for that video and thank you for watching.